Welcome back. We are here on eTour looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for uh, the commodities and precious metals market for uh, Wednesday, uh, November 11th, and 2020. Uh, if you want to support the channel, you're welcome to uh, subscribe by hitting the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. If you uh, want to join our signal service, we have a signal service on Patreon. We have over 50 tra active traders there already. And uh, you'll also get access to our uh, full technical analysis for commodities. Uh, and we'll probably add full technical analysis for Bitcoin and other um, instrument instruments as well. So we'll start by looking at Bitcoin, but this is just more of the same. But it is quite interesting that we are at this point shaping a um, triangle here. So we will have a breakout to the upside or to the downside. It is um, it's just a matter of when. I prefer the downside. I would guess that we'll basically break down. Um, the reason for that is basically these technical indicators. We are over bond at this point. CCI is, is bearish. Stochastic is fairly flat. And the MACD is basically turning around. So it would make sense that we break to the downside. We will find major support here around 13,000, 40,000. Uh, if we go lower, then we'll find uh, additional support here around 12,800. And then we will touch the 50 moving average. I doubt it that we'll ever get to the 50 moving average. Every single time we have tried to basically f um, to pull back, we haven't even got near the 50 moving average at this point. But we are overstretched. This distance, distance between the price at this point and the 50 moving average is significant. We are overbought, and it's just a matter of time before we have a massive breakdown. And this could basically explain when we are going to have the breakdown. We are basically in the corner here. Either we break up to the upside or break to the downside. And at this point, because we are overbought, I prefer the downside. So that is an opportunity in order to buy Bitcoin cheaply. And that is the way you should trade this. Uh, it's basically pull, uh, buying pullbacks and getting as cheap as possible. So if you look at Etro, we can see that we are also here trading within a small triangle. You can write it like this and uh, we can write it like that. And it is also a matter of... of um, of time before we have a breakdown, a breakout here, either to the downside or the upside. It's a little bit different from Bitcoin. It is on nearly 50-50 where, where, where we go um, because we are not as overbought as we are with Bitcoin. We're still on the edge. We're 67, so 70 is basically the, the edge and uh, the technical indicators are mixed. CCI is negative, the stochastic is uh, bullish, and the MACD is basically bullish at this point. So if we break out to the upside, then we have to test these highs of uh, 468. If we break to the very lows, then we run into support here, around this area here, it's around 415. And the best case scenario, we'll go towards the 50 moving average, and that will be a buying opportunity for Ethereum. If breaking these highs is also a buying opportunity. We are in uptrend, we have been for a very long time, and it's just a matter of time before we go higher. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to uh, to join us over at, um, at Patreon, uh, where you'll get access also to our trading signals and, um, and our full technical analysis. So, good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.